Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, I am going to show you one of the most powerful and unique three-phase attack strategy. TH11's app Lava Loon. It is the easiest variation of Lava Loon at TH11, and it is criminally underrated. I will teach you everything about this strategy in this video, so keep watching till the end to master the strategy. Let's start with the troop composition. This is the general army composition. You can make minor changes according to the base. I will show you how and where to make these changes throughout the video. Take a good look at this base. The major threats to this TH-11's app Lavaloon strategy are the Queen, CC, Eagle, and Multi Infernos. Here we will zap out this Inferno. It will also create the funnel point for our kill squad. We will push our kill squad to take down all these buildings. Out of them, Eagle and Queen are our main targets. We will funnel them using Baby Dragon and Sneaky Goblins. The CC is easily accessible in this base, so we will lure that using couple of looms. And the Queen will take them down easily with the help of Poison Spell. That will leave us with this narrow path for our Lava Loon with only one major threat left. Warden ability and haste spells will get us through the core easily. You understood the plan? Now let's execute it. Alright, let's start the attack with deploying the baby dragon to funnel on that corner. That will save us some time later in the attack. And zap out this inferno in the meantime as we planned earlier. Let's wait for our troops to create solid funnel. After that, we can start the second phase by deploying Ice Golems, backed up by some Wizards, King, Queen, and the Log Launcher. They are our kill squad. I also use the Super Wall Breaker, as the Log Launcher takes some time to open the walls. I lured the CC using two balloons to take them down nice and early in the attack. I like to use the Skeleton Spell to get more value out of the Hero Dive as they are great at distracting the defenses for our heroes. The Ice Golem and the Yeti from the Log Launcher are out now. They will provide further tanking for the heroes to survive longer and get more value. All the targets are down, and a solid path is created for Lavaloon. We can start the third phase of the attack now, which is the Lavaloon part. I waited a bit long here due to my queen. But you should always start the Lava Loon around 140 mark to avoid the time fails. Always deploy two or three balloons on each defense. So they don't hit traps and splash defenses altogether. Notice how I deployed them in two groups to push more loons to the core. Haste and ward an ability through the core as we planned earlier. After that, there is nothing left on the back end to stop this attack. Don't forget to use minions throughout for the cleanup. You can see. The base is gone, and we didn't even use the queen ability. That's why almost every pro player in Clash of Clans loves the Lavaloon attack strategy. Here on this base, there's only one multi. The other inferno is set single, which is absolutely helpless against this strategy. So we will zap this inferno along with X-Bow and Sweeper. That will take 5 zaps and 1 earthquake spell. And run our kill squad through queen and cc, they will also take down all these defenses. We will leave the eagle for the lava loon in this one. The lava loon will follow this path behind the remaining sweeper. Warden ability will be used to absorb the eagle strikes. Haste and freezes will be used accordingly. Enough planning, let's do the attack now. Let's start with zapping out these defenses as we planned earlier. You might be wondering why we are going for that X-Bow here. As it is not a major threat to the Lalo. But that X-Bow is a great value for one extra zap spell. And that will also reduce the damage on our heroes. We can use Baby Dragon or Wizards for funneling, when there are no resource buildings outside. But almost every single TH-11 war base will have the resource buildings outside so we can use Sneaky Goblins as a cheap funneling option. As you have noticed from the previous attack, the main aim of Hero Dive in this strategy is to take down one compartment of the base. 
including the queen and cc along with one major defense, which is this ex-bow in this case. The other objective is to create a narrow and straight pothing, which is important for most of the attacks. Our CC troops are out now. Unfortunately, they went outside. But that's not a problem, as we already got all our targets down. Look at the value we got from our heroes here. The invisibility spell is used on the queen most of the time to get more value out of her. Alright, let's start the lava loon as time is running out. Always remember to not deploy all of your balloons at the beginning. Save on some of them for later. Now pay the attention here. There are some defenses on edge of this base. So I am using the remaining balloons surgically on them. That way the main pack will move together in the core and don't split to this defenses. This takes some practice if you're new to lava loon strategy. It took me a lot of time to learn this deployments too. And just like this, the base is absolutely gone. Up next, I will show when you should zap the queen. So don't click away now. Now this is a difficult base for this Lavaloon strategy. As we can't run our kill squad through Queen, CC, and any multi-inferno due to the town hall placement. So what we are going to do is zap out the Queen along with that X-Bow. That will take 5 zaps and an earthquake spell. We will run our heroes through this path instead. They will take down CC, Eagle Artillery, and this Inferno along with other buildings. The Inferno is not necessary as we can deal with that later in the Lalo phase too. And the Lava Loon will move along this path. The Warden ability will be used on the Multi Inferno. That's the plan. Now let's make it work. Alright, the Queen is in perfect position. We can zap all of them out now. You need to be quick enough while zapping the Queen. Or else she will move away and survive the zaps. Be careful about that. We can start the kill squad phase now. I have to use few balloons here to make sure the heroes don't go outside. That would have messed the entire attack. We have a lot of balloons, so we can afford to use a few of them here. Always try to use king ability when he has around 60% HP left. To get the best value out of it. And to take down the hard hitting defenses nice and early. The invisibility spell is mostly used on the queen to get more value out of her. As in this case, we won't get that inferno without the invisibility spell. We can start the lava loon phase now. My lava loon deployment in this attack is very bad, as I unnecessarily used all the loons of the beginning, and I still managed to 3 star. That shows the strength of this TH11 zap lava loon attack strategy. I claim this as the easiest variation of any TH11 lava loon strategy, because it is much more adaptable. And you have two options to take down the queen. Either with the zaps or with the heroes. Both of them are much more easier and reliable than other TH11 lava loon strategies. Like the queen charge or the blizzard lalo. TH11 zap lalo is also very underrated. I can bet most of you guys had never used it or even heard of it. This is your time now. There's a lot of zap value on this base. Especially around the infernos, but both of them are set on single mode. And singles are absolutely helpless against this strategy. So they are not much of a concern here. We will zap the queen along with the X-Bow instead. The Earthquake spell will also weak up this entire compact area. And we will run our heroes through it, so they will clear the entire section of the base. After that, this semicircular path will be created for the Lava Loon. The spells will be used accordingly. Pretty simple plan, now let's execute it. Let's start with zapping the queen along with that X-Bow. Drop the spells before the queen moves away as I said in previous attack. Let's create the funnel for our heroes. Always remember to deploy ice golems first, and then rest of the troops. As they will hold the attention of defenses and freeze them afterwards. Unfortunately our queen didn't follow the pack here. But that's not a problem as this base is so weak against TH11 Zap Lalo. Due to that, we use the invisibility spell on King in this one. The plan is going smoothly, so we can start the Lava Loon now. 
Now the only time this strategy will not work is when you can't take down Queen. And CC with either Zaps or the heroes. Because, Lalo itself cannot deal with them. Or when you can't create a proper pothing for the Lavaloon. Then they will not move together and go down easily. But such bases are very rare, and almost every TH11 war base will fall to the strategy. You just need to identify the base properly. The other thing to keep in mind is time. As it is a three phase attack strategy, time is always a point of concern. If you can't manage it properly, you will most likely end up with a time fail. So you better look out for that. So this is the TH11 Zap Lava Loon Attack Strategy Tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed and learned the strategy throughout. Consider subscribing for more strategy guide videos. And don't forget to check out the TH11 playlist for other strategy guides.